Hey, just a quick description of my polygon drawing algorithm that I prototyped recently in Evil Draw. This is a program by Ken Silverman that features built in C like compiler. So uh, it's useful for prototyping and trying out various ideas you have because it has instant feedback on every change of your code and you don't even have to declare your local variables just write the code you need and uh, all the subroutines and there are various join modes and built-in join functions of course there is a built-in functions to draw 3d polygons with textures but here I just wanted to create a skin line uh, algorithm that could handle complex polygons with holes and uh, multiple different uh, isolated groups and uh, do this in three dimensions so you can see that you can fly around this polygon this is a single polygon there's no triangles no first time clipping so you can fly around it and uh, you can see that uh, the, all the edges are projected into the view and you can even fly into this polygon and see the inside out uh, how the space it turns uh, what lies inside it and now lies outside and there's a pretty uh, interesting effect uh, so it uh, uh, shows that uh, the polygon just doesn't uh, exist as a uh, mathematical object it's just the edges that define uh, the boundary of this area that uh, makes a hole in the space that is filled with scan lines by the algorithm so it scans each edges and it works in the domain of edges not vertices like uh, usual restoration algorithms they uh, normally how they work by projecting these vertices into screen space and uh, they uh, normally need to have to be clipped uh, into even frustum that even uh, area that uh, is uh, uh, a complex task and that needs to be uh, done for each frame uh, for each polygon in real time it can be pretty tedious to do and this algorithm it doesn't even have to do any first to clipping of this complex polygon it will be notoriously difficult to do in real time uh, and it doesn't limit it to triangles it can handle any shape uh, because it works pretty much like the generic scan line algorithm that is slightly altered to handle uh, edge cases such as uh, projections of a single edge that uh, has a uh, polygon uh, to the side of it and if you see the vertex uh, projection is negative meaning that are behind their viewing plane and if you fly away from this polygon you see the vertices are in fact remain projected but they are at the opposite uh, side so they are drawn like circles by the built-in evil draw functions but uh, in fact this algorithm works in the domain of edges so it doesn't need to uh, project vertices and the key part is in fact the projection routine that works in domain of edges so it takes an edge and it calculates its slope even before any vertices are projected so this means that we can do your all of the clipping in scan line domain 
this kind of scan line level so it doesn't need to project vertices for this and uh, it, uh, what it does it just undefines the scan line bounds for each edge so it goes from here to here vertically and uh, the same uh, pattern repeats for uh, every edge uh, that is it falls into visible area so uh, this algorithm does performs automatic clipping for all cases uh, stop the animation and see how it looks this point falls on the horizon but it is all the vertices are implicit so they are just the edges that are generated uh, directly from 3D data 3D coordinates that just transform into camera and then <coughs> you know, we have our edge uh, line calculated and then we have our uh, scan line bounds calculated for each edge. Now, here is some scan line clipping that works in horizontal axis, but it's buggy. If we enable this piece of code, it tends to disappear some parts of the uh, polygon because no edges remain visible for this area so the additional checks are required for this to work uh, otherwise it's pretty efficient and uh, with very simple lines you can see that it works without any artifacts and uh, fills the uh, entire polygon and the uh, backface calling can be implemented uh, just a couple of lines of code is a reverse uh, variable that handles these cases as well so the you know, polygon uh, makes becomes two-sided like a normal uh, face of an object so here this is how this algorithm works it does makes it special that it uh, allows uh, use of complex polygons in 3D so this field was uh, generally limited to triangles uh, triangles that uh, are, have problems with uh, making such dynamic uh, animated uh, uh, polygons so that you would have to triangulate this uh, Thing I knew each frame and here we don't need to triangulate or clip into first on anything so it's shown as is directly from 3D edges and uh, you want no way you could draw this with uh, uh, triangles because you would need to clip uh, your triangles into the viewing first on that was would be a near plane that uh, would make uh, these cases look either this or this case look a uh, uh, line appear near the camera so you can, uh, you can see that there is no near plane clipping either so you can uh, go to this polygon and come close to it as close as you want you don't see any artifacts that are associated with uh, first clipping or z buffering or triangle based 3d graphics so this is the future of 3d graphics that uh, would be uh, implemented in my engine that would handle models with uh, complex polygons uh, natively 
about triangulation. So here it is. The algorithm is pretty much the generic scan line uh, polygon drawing that works for 2D polygons and this was slightly modified to work for 3D uh, cases so this is a um, loop that checks for new edges on the way as uh, the scan line goes from top to bottom and uh, this is the loop that uh, removes drawn edges after they have been completed and uh, most of the work happens here so this is uh, the critical part that just performs the rasterization and, uh, this makes this algorithm that very efficient so this is how it works Let's stop the animations and see how edges are projected without uh, texture mapping but uh, the final version will have uh, texture mapping and three directional for the scan line fill so it could uh, fill not just horizontal lines but uh, any direction along uh, constant depth uh, lines so this would be crucial for uh, efficient uh, texture mapping so stay tuned for seeing this uh, algorithm implemented in my engine that gets full support for 3D meshes uh, inside uh, <coughs> 3D geometry inside maps uh, put into levels so it could be Pretty impressive to see. See you next time.